What's up everybody and thank you for tuning to this video where today we're talking about travel specifically about how to stay occupied when you're on the road driving for hours and hours. Now by no means is this like something you can only do when you're traveling on a road trip. This can be for any time that you have spare time that you want to multitask, do something fun, do something interesting, do something educational, whatever it is. But I'm going to talk about specifically when I travel, how I stay ain't entertained. Now, don't take any offense or don't like judge me please, but like I never really got into music so I don't really listen to music. Like if I turn the radio on, I'll turn the radio on, that's fine, I'll listen to music, that's, that's cool. Like I don't have anything against listening to music. but. I'm more of a podcast person. I love podcasts. So today I'm going to tell you about the podcast that I enjoy listening to and why I enjoy them. So again, like I said, you don't have to be traveling to listen to podcasts. So if you just want to add these to your podcast list, I totally recommend them. Uh, but here is kind of like my favorite ones. And by the way, I listen, I'm subscribed to over 150 podcasts. So I'm not listing all of them for sure, but I'll put a list down below as well. Uh, to the ones that I mentioned and if you're interested in more you can reach out to me I'd be more than happy to share but there's just so many but these are my favorites so let's just start off by letting you know that like Gimlet Media NPR and How Stuff Works are like my three favorite like parent companies of podcasts they all have several podcasts underneath of them but those are the three like parent companies that I love that have awesome shows so I listen primarily to business travel and like random fact podcast as well as some like news podcasts and so in that realm of business um, I love Planet Money it's like a short 20 minute episode which I really like it's not too long the Tim Ferriss show really gets like really interesting when he like interviews people who are like really good at something and he breaks down like what it is that makes them an expert at it but he goes on for like hours sometimes so it's like sometimes overwhelming um, but the Tim Ferriss show uh, there's also Freakonomics, which is great. It's about an hour usually. And then How I Built This is like another one that's around 30 minutes. Um, it really takes you behind the scenes and talk, they interview the people who started different companies like um, Airbnb, Southwest Airlines, um, Starbucks, like all kinds of cool things. I like that a lot. And then there's The Pitch, which is just like Shark Tank, but uh, in like audio form. And they go a little more in depth and they follow up with the people uh, unlike they do with uh, Shark Tank. They sometimes do that with Shark Tank, but not always. So I really like those business podcasts. Those are some of my favorite. Now, when it comes to travel, I really enjoy the RV Entrepreneur with Heath Padgett. Um, it's really great, awesome. It talks a lot about like their travels, but also like how to start a business on the road, that kind of thing. Um, Betty in the Sky with a Suitcase, she comes out once a month so you don't ever have to feel overwhelmed. Um, it's just like she shares crazy airline stories of like what happens when her or other flight attendants have been on the air. There are some crazy things that I never knew happened on an airline. It's pretty ridiculous. So really like that one. Uh, Nomad Together is about a family that lives out of an RV, which is pretty impressive. If you think that RVing is only for single couples young people that's not true it's for anybody so i really enjoy that one um there's the zero to trouble podcast and then there's the extra pack of peanut podcast as well um so when it comes to random facts i love this because like it's entertaining but it's also like i can pull this random fact out to like impress somebody or to just like start a conversation or something like that so i really enjoy 99 percent invisible uh it's like a 20 minute episode they take you behind the scenes talk about design so it's kind of like if you're an art or an architecture or something like that in terms of like major, it's also really interesting for you because they really talk about what goes behind the scenes when they decide to design something or stuff like that. So I really enjoy that one a lot actually. Uh, stuff they don't want you to know, uh, usually about like an hour long and they share like conspiracy theories or like stuff that the government doesn't want you to know or like crazy stuff like that. There's one called Car Stuff, it's about an hour as well. Uh, they go through different things about cars and whatnot. Um, Tell me something I don't know is like a fun, I think they record it live, it's like a game show kind of thing, so like contestants will come up and they'll have to tell the judges something that they don't know and they'll have to get them to guess about it and then at the end the, the audience will judge who had the best uh, new fact kind of thing. Um, no such thing as a fish, I think it's a British show, um, but they share like random facts that they found throughout the week uh, and break them down and stuff like that which I think is really interesting. Wait Wait Don't Tell Me is another one I really like. Hidden Brain as well is great, and most of these are like under an hour. Um, wow in the World, okay, Wow in the World is geared for like kids, 
but I really enjoy it. They go through like some of the wonders of the world and how they are and they explain it in simple terms. They explain it for kids. That's why it's awesome because like you get to understand it. So I love that like when solar eclipse happen, they explain all that and like um, when it comes to what's another one? They talked about fee season one. It's just an interesting thing. Things that you wouldn't expect um, and that you wouldn't expect to be interesting like feces. Um, so I really enjoy that one a lot. Brains On is another good one. It's pretty short, 20 minutes to and half an hour. Uh, Part-Time Genius is another one. Science Versus is a new one that I came across. It's really interesting. Um, they break down like what are like conspiracies that people have and like how does that match up against science? So like the fact that people are afraid of vaccines, how does that match up against what science can say? Uh, that's just one example that I just listened to. Uh, Welcome to Macintosh is another great one. Right now they're doing like a series on like how emojis come to life. So like, in case you didn't know, you as just a random person can come up with an emoji, suggest it to uh, the emoji board, forget what their names are exactly, present it to the board, and you could possibly have your emoji made into a real emoji, which would be pretty cool. Um, and then Ask Me Another is another great one as well that like that has that random fact thing. And then if you want to throw in some news in there, I really enjoy CNN 10 uh, because it's like a video thing. And the guy on there is just cheesy funny, but I like him, it's pretty funny. Um, and then Rough Translation, they look at how issues that we're facing in the United States uh, transpire in other countries. So like the hacking in the United States of like presidential election and all that stuff, they look at like what is hacking like uh, and like what is that whole like seeing what we talk about is like President Trump being hacked and all that stuff or hacking and stuff. What is that? How do people in other countries see that happening? How do they see that transpiring? What do they think of it? I think that's really interesting for like that global mindset. Um, and it's just interesting to see how other cultures think. So those are the podcasts that I enjoy, that I listen to, uh, both when I'm traveling and when I'm not. But when I'm traveling, I have a lot of time to listen to those 150 that I'm subscribed to. So I'll put a list down below of the ones that I mentioned. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, about travel, about podcasts specifically, about anything, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here for you guys. I really want to spread the message of the Young Travelers Movement, which is to inspire high school graduates and college students to travel more, to learn more about the world around them uh, before they decide what they want to do with their life. Because there's a lot of opportunities out there. There's a lot to learn about yourself. And uh, I don't want you to go spending all your money on college if it's not necessarily the right thing for you and your career. Uh, but again, all of this can be used for anybody who wants to travel because it really just teaches you travel budgets, tips and tricks. Um, but it's what you get out of it that is really geared towards the high school and college students. But you can always learn something new in life. So no matter what age you are, feel free to reach out to me. Check, the, check out the other videos on this channel. Please guys, do me a favor and share with somebody that you know who might be interested in travel or just interested in learning about the world around them. Because um, my goal is to reach as many people as possible. I can only do that with your help because you guys are the ones who can share it on social media. So please subscribe, share with somebody you know, and then I'll catch you all in the next video, every day, daily video. But until then, high five!